Det var det efter Gings. I'll transmit the latest data we've received from the Allied forces. According to this, the dam is protected by an intensive anti-aircraft defense network. To deal with this, the Allied squadron will draw anti-aircraft fire to itself in the skies. Meanwhile, GOM team will join the Allied squad's Avalon Dam strike team and approach the target at low altitude through the canyon. Through the canyon. So, if you have seen Top Gun Maverick, this is that kind of mission. Yes, sir. Pilots, check your plane and prepare for refueling. One mile to refueling craft. Did you play this uh, a lot on PS2? I never did have a PS2. I had a PS1 when I was studying. So for the PS2 games, I've been playing them on emulator. Okay, now, now we can approach. I had a X, uh, S Combat 6 uh, for Xbox and I actually did review it for the Pelirati. This is how you, how you refuel it. Okay. Actually, we need to change the. We need to change the weapons. Ot otherwise, this this is going not going to be a fun fun mission. So from the air to air missile to the fuel air explosive bomb because. Okay, you can keep it.
course, this is Ace Combat, we are going to fly into tunnel. Or so, so you did, did think. But okay, so he's going to propose her, his girlfriend. Okay, apparently he's not going to propose his girlfriend. And more super weapons. And this guy. Uh, this is one of the most annoying. Well, this is the end battle, so. Zero. Well, it's not about not the, not the fighter, but the pilot. He has lasers. Gotta shut up. What is that? That was too way too close. Ouch. <laughs> phase one. <laughs> this was phase one. Uh -huh. Nice buddy. Oh, 
explode the bomb. Big weapons. Big. You are crazy. Because em emulator doesn't fully emulate, that's why the explosives will be a bit, bit ugly. Okay, I, I get it. This is uh, which which one, which is better pilot? You, you can chase me then. Defensive them. You are crazy. Shoot from the front. Fast pass. Okay, he's coming now. Okay, he's he's getting hits. is mine.
So this is the hidden truth about the war. And this is where his trail ends as well. The impact of the seven nuclear detonations on the world's psyche was great. Those who witnessed the carnage went on to organize a global arms reduction. Perhaps they were admonishing themselves. Space basically is combat uh, starting point. Since a V2 was concealed. The events that occurred after the war faded from people's memories. And these men were also sealed away from history. Maybe this was one path to achieve peace. Uh, fighting fire with fire. Hmm. However, that does not mean their own stories came to an end. I fly under the code of knighthood. It's no surprise, since we soldiers are the descendants of the Belkin Knights. We protect the meek and give our lives for honor. But that does not mean that we are generous. Since generosity will cost us our lives. If the pilot survived to the end of the war, he must have carried out these rules. I bailed out and landed here. The captain was gone. I've lived a comfortable life since then, and I probably have him to thank for that. They ring the bells here at dusk to honor the liberation of the capital. It signals peace, but to me, they are the sounds of death. When a fighter plane goes down, that's the end. It disintegrates into pieces. Incinerated beyond recognition. It's a scary thought. But it also makes you feel alive. I left the military, but I still fly that sky. But, uh... It's pretty lonely up there all by myself. I'd love to fly with him again someday. Marcella Vasquez, the Espada team's number two, and former member of the Sapin Air Force, 9th Air and Land Division, 11th Tactical Fighter Squadron. She, she flew the J-35. She to be a survivor of the coup d'etat squadron. She currently earns a living as a dancer. If the Demon Lord hadn't appeared, our lives might have been different. For me, it wasn't about flying or ideals. Most of all, it was about him, my flight lead. Our mission was to escort the heavy command cruiser that was to act as transportation for the organization. And the demon lord appeared, as if to block our path. I, will I like that they are talking about me in third person. Power. One by one, my comrades were shot down. And then the mother bird we were supposed to protect. We survived after the fight. We left our organization and returned to the ground together. But he was heavily wounded. He soon passed away, leaving me behind. We were only able to spend a short time together in peace and quiet. But I don't blame anyone. The regret and suffering that remained after that battle were also what he had given me. They're among the precious few things he left behind. Anton Kuchenko, thought to be head director of a world with no boundaries, former member of the Belkin Air Force, 18th Air Division, 5th Tactical Fighter Squadron, in his glory days, he was a Belkin ace, and later became head of their Department of Weapons Development and Technology. But the military sent him back out on the front lines as a commander. In March of 1995, he suddenly disappeared along with his platoon and was never accounted for after that. The Belkin Air Force announced that he died in combat. Several months after that, his corpse was found close to the Belkin border. The whole story is still shrouded in mystery.
with the Sleeping King Awakes. Larry F also known as Solo Wing Pixie. <laughs> that guy. Calm <laughs> Team's number two and member of the Ustio Air Force, 6th Air Division, 66th Air Force Unit. Sus. That's right. This man was his buddy and his enemy. I should have died that day, but I didn't. I dragged my wounded body and reached ground zero of the nuclear detonations. A barren, empty land. I felt an unbearable sadness when I witnessed that landscape. There were still people living there. They were the ones that saved me. It may be true that the world has no need of borders, but would getting rid of them really change anything? The world won't change for the better unless we trust people. Trust is vital in a peaceful world, but that will never happen. I'm still on the battlefield. Right now I'm near a border. I want to see for myself what borders really mean, and what their volition really is. I may not find what I'm looking for, but I still want to try. Anyway, that's what I've come to believe, and I think that's enough. Will he see this video? If you do meet him, give him a message for me. Yo, buddy. Still alive? <laughs> and thanks, friend. See you again. Hope not. The Demon Lord of the Round Table. A warrior who soared through the Belkin War, inspiring both fear and admiration. His presence filled the skies for but a few short months before he disappeared. Apart from that, Nothing is known about him. I was never able to find out what kind of a person he really was. But whenever they talked about him, they always had a slight smile on their faces. That, perhaps, may be my answer. Just a soldier. So, yeah. A few thoughts. This is pretty good to, um, pretty cool for this combat games and of course the beast doesn't last countries need to build um, web mass weapons against the asteroids because asteroid is actually actually colliding with the with the strange strange real this is this is not earth planet earth but a strange real and yeah I, I like this um, Ace Combat Zero because this has a clear uh, moral simulation some some you don't. If you want to be a knight, play as a knight. You don't shoot shoot the yellow ones. Uh, so some targets are actually marked as a refugee camp, and you can drop a bomb on them. So yeah, you can do war crimes in this in this uh, game. And it's it's a good question: Is are the Ace Combat games like pacifist? But what's their message on the war? Well, it's mostly about that it's ugly. At least um, GRO and 5. And I, th I think 4 doesn't give some... It's some time since I played 4. But yeah, uh, it doesn't give some clear... But uh, yeah, 5 and GRO have a pretty interesting plot. I, I think the 5 is still my favorite. 6 is like, eh, meh. But I think I need to play it at some point again. But 7 was good. 7 was surprisingly good. Some fan service in the end, but yeah. That's 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 pretty pretty good. So these are pretty pretty nice shooter flying games which give a sort sort of pilot feeling despite you having like 100 missiles. <laughs> So yeah, I, I like the I like this game game series and I liked Infinity as well, but you can't play Infinity in, in these days. Um, 
Assault Horizon wasn't, wasn't really, really good. But yeah, definitely my favorite mm, game series and some sort of guilty pleasure. I suppose I'm going to return to the, some of these games later. So that's, that's about it. So anyway, uh, I'll, I'll bid you farewell from here. Please like and subscribe if you are watching this on YouTube. Uh, of course, if you are watching this on Twitch, every bit of helps. And um, for the Easter, I'm going to play horror game Alone in the Dark. Game that I first played in 1992. It has a new uh, reimagining. So we are going to play it in the Easter and some other games. So I had like a list of games I need to finish. So this was one and that was great. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching and I'll, I'll see you in next broadcast. Bye. See you, buddy. Thank you.